So again, the title of the notes for today is 2.4, Solving Equations with Variables. What are variables? X, Y, letters, right? Any letter on an equation with variables on both sides. Now, what are we talking about both sides? Both sides of what? Of the equal sign, right? So uh, remember, uh, an equation is kind of like a, a balanced scale. It's perfectly balanced. So here's my... Let me just put an equal sign between the two. So there's my equation. Um, here's a visual where you can see that the left side, 3a plus 8, is the same weight as the number 26. Okay? Um, let me ask you this, since we're starting this uh, lesson. Are there variables on both sides? Where's the variable at? Just right here. It's not over here. It's just on the left side. So this is not an example of an equation with variables on both sides. This is just like a review, so we could uh, practice a little. So let's say, actually, let's go back and think, what's the goal of solving any equation? What's the goal? To leave the variable by itself. Good job, Mark. To leave the variable by itself on one side of the equal sign. So obviously, my A is right here. I need to get it by itself. Now, uh, maybe with the picture, it's a little too distracting. You could just write your own equation right there as the first uh, opener of this lesson. So uh, let's get rid of this uh, 8. So how do I get rid of the 8? Subtract 8. Probably should ask you which one do I get rid of first, the 3 or the 8, but we all should know by now that the loner, uh, the last, the number all by itself, that's the one we want to get rid of. So what you do to one side, do to the other side. We're going to have a new equation that says 3a equals 26 take away 8 is 18. And for my final step, to get rid of the multiplication of 3, I'm going to divide by 3 on both sides. So divide by 3, divide by 3. So A equals 6. So whenever you get an answer, you could always double check by taking your answer and plugging it back into the original equation and seeing if it gives you a true statement. So 6 times 3, 3 times 6 is 18. 18 plus 8 really is 26. So we've done, we've double checked it. So I know for sure that my answer is 6. You could do this double check on every single equation on Friday's test. Let's move on to what this section is actually on uh, when we have variables on both sides. So on this guy, we have variables on both sides. We have the 8x plus 5, um, we need an equal sign, equals 7x plus 10. So when I ask you, where's the x at? Is it on the left side or is it on the right side? It's on both sides. And we don't want that, right? We don't want a variable on both sides. After all, the goal is to get x by itself on one side. Okay, you don't want it on both sides. You only want it by itself on one side. So um, before we even... Uh, begin solving this, I want you guys to copy down these uh, notes right here. So, uh, yeah, please, uh, if you're watching this from home and you weren't here at school, hit pause and copy down these notes. Everybody in class, on hit pause right now and please copy down these notes. Steps to solving any equation. Now we're talking about any equation. Let me read it through uh, as you guys copy. Step one is to simplify. Maybe a uh, let me underline that. Simplify. That's step one. Simplify each side of the equation. So you have your left side, you have your right side. Simplify each side of the equation. Do one side at a time. Okay? So what I like to do when I simplify each side of the equation, I, get, I like to get my hand and cover up one side of the equal sign and just focus on simplifying the left side. And then once I simplify the left side, then I get my hand and I cover up the other side of the equal sign and then I simplify the right side, okay? Um, so step one is to simplify, and again, if you're like, simplify, what does that mean? Simplify means distributive property and combining like terms, okay? So is there any distributive property on the left side? Anybody? No? Is there any distributive property on the right side? There is no distributive property, there is no combining like terms. So this example up here is already simplified. Step one is already done for us. This is a simplified equation. Okay, step two. Uh, it's the goal of solving any equation. You want to get x by itself on one side. How do you do that? 
we already know to get rid of something you do the opposite and remember what you do to one side you must do to the other side okay to maintain the balance right so uh, once again these notes right here on solving any equation these are the notes these are the steps that we're gonna have to have memorized on algebra 1 algebra 2 any equation doesn't matter how simple or how complicated it is you're gonna have to go through these steps you have to have these steps memorized it's really just two steps step one simplify what does that mean distributed property or combining like terms um, and step two getting the variable by itself on one side of the equation um, how do you do that to get rid of something you do the opposite okay anyway um, let's take a look at this equation up here and first of all if I look at the left side Tell me, guys, is there any distributed property here? No. Is there any combining like terms? No. So that is what we call simplified. There is nothing to do. You can't add, you can't add 8x plus 5 because they're not like terms. If this were a 5x, then yeah, you could add 8x plus 5x, but you can't do that. So that's already simplified. Let's, uh, whoa, let's uh, cover up this other one. So I have uh, 7x plus 10. Is there any distributed property there? No, there's no parentheses. Is there any combining like terms right there? No. No. Okay. So this is a simplified equation. We can move on to step two. Step two says isolate the variable on one side. Okay. So where's the x at? The left side or the right side? It's on, the, it's on both sides, right? Now you don't want, here's an 8x, here's a 7x. You don't want both. So if you don't want something, you get rid of it. How do you get rid of something? By doing the opposite. So let's get rid of one of them. Which one do you want to get rid of? The 7x, okay. So how do I get rid of a 7x? What's the opposite? Yeah, what's the opposite of 7x? Minus 7x, right? And what I do to one side, you see, if, if I just leave it like that, this right side just got lighter, it's gonna tip over this way, okay? Until I take away 7x from the other side, that will make it maintain the balance, right? So anyway, um, on the right side, the 7x disappears because 7x take away 7x is 0. And on the left side, when I do 8x take away 7x, what do I get? I get 1x. So I really have 1x or just x. You don't even need the 1. Let's bring down the plus 5. Let's bring down the equal sign. Let's bring down the 10. So it's almost by itself. The 1x is almost by itself. All I need to do is get rid of the plus 5. How do I get rid of a plus 5? Subtracting 5. Okay, so let's go minus 5 here, minus 5 here. So my final answer is going to be the x that comes down, the equal sign that comes down. These guys canceled out. 10 take away 5 is 5. x equals 5 is my answer. So it's really nothing new. The only difference uh, from last week and today is uh, that we have variables on both sides. Okay, so you got to get x by itself. You just pick a side which one you want to get, uh, get it on. So once again, it's so important to have all of these steps uh, memorized, understanding them, right? Um, let me hand out a worksheet. Okay, guys, so uh, I just handed out a two-sided worksheet. If you look at the front side, that's really a review of w what we've done already, solving one-step equations, two-step equations solving equations with fractions but the variables on one side it's on the back side of the handout that's what we're looking at here on the screen this is the back side of the handout and this is where we're actually doing uh, notes 2.4 uh, which is solving uh, equations with variables on both sides and also some that require simplification so let's just uh, walk through this right here on this uh, beginning part of the notes top left um, I give you an example. It says solve two parentheses three x minus five close parentheses minus four x equals some other stuff. Now we still have a variable only on one side right here, but uh, step one of the notes that you took down was to simplify each side, one side at a time. So like I said, I always like to cover up one side of my equal sign and just work on the simplification of it. So on the left side, what does it mean by simplification? It says up here, simplify is simplify anything possible. That means distributed property and combining like terms. So is there any distributed property over here? Yes, there is. So we're going to distribute what? The 2. So the 2, 2 times 3x gives you the 6x down here. 2 times negative 5 gives you the minus 10 down there. Is everybody with me? 
And then the minus four, you're just gonna bring it down. So, so far on simplifying, you've done distributive property. Now from here, you have three terms. Out of the six X, the 10 and the four X, out of those three terms, what could you combine? The X's. So let's combine the uh, 6x with the negative 4x. That's like having $6 and owing $4. When you combine the 6x with the negative 4x, that gives you 2x. So when you combine the 6x and minus 4x, you get the simplified 2x right there, and you bring down the minus 10, so you have 2x minus 10. Is there anything else to do right here? No. So I've simplified the left side. I did distributive property on it, combined like terms. This is my simplified left side. So now let me move my hand, which in this case is a black box. Let me cover up this side, and now let me work on simplifying the right side. Because remember, step one says simplify one side at a time. So on the right side, I have negative three minus minus five. What do I do with this minus minus? You add, right? You have to go plus plus. So if I change it to plus plus, oh wait a minute, I already did that down here, plus plus, let's combine the negative three with the positive five. Negative three and positive five gives us this two right here. So what I have now down here, this is my simplified equation. Two X minus 10 equals two, okay? And once it's simplified, then you could worry about step two, which is the goal, which is getting X by itself on one side. So you'd have to add 10, add 10, and then divide by two and divide by two and finish that up, okay? Uh, if we continue reading down here, um, actually there's space. I thought there wasn't space, but I did leave space here to work this out. So let's solve this quickly. So you should have gotten six as an answer. X equals six. Now let's move on to down here where it says many times we'll have an equation with variables on both sides okay this is what we were talking about on the previous slides of this video um, let's take a look at this very simple equation it says 2x minus 10 equals x so is there any if i look at the left side let's ignore the right side is there any distributed property or combining like terms on the left side anybody no how about the right side is there any distributed property or combining like terms on the right side no so we call this a simplified equation. We can move on to step two, which is the goal to get X by itself on one side. So where's the X at? The left side or the right side? It's on both sides. You don't want it on both sides. So let's get rid of one of them. Now, it doesn't matter if you want to move the X's to the left or if you want to move the X's to the right. Yeah, there will be one that's a little bit shorter than the others, but it's okay. Whatever uh, way you like to go is fine. So what do you guys want to do? Get rid of the X or get rid of the 2X? Two 2X. Let's get rid of the 2x, okay? So if I get rid of the 2x, how do I get rid of a 2x? What's the opposite of 2x? Negative 2x. So if I put a negative 2x there, what I do to one side, I do to the other side, I will have negative 10 equal sign x take away 2x is negative 1x. Yeah? And now for my final step, I need to get rid of that negative 1 in front of the x. So that's really saying negative 1 times x. So the way to get rid of a multiplication of negative 1 is to divide by negative 1. Divide by negative 1. So I will get x equals positive 10. And there's my answer. Okay? Let me do number 1, and then we'll have you guys try number 2. So we have x's, or we have m's on both sides. We want to get rid of one of the m's. And you could get rid of the minus 6m by adding 6m to both sides, or you could get rid of the minus m by adding m to both sides. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of that guy. What I do to one side, I do to the other side. My new equation will be one equals six minus five m. So I clearly got rid of the m on the left side. I have m on the right side. Let's get m by itself on the right side. So I'm gonna get rid of the six first by subtracting six on both sides. So I'm gonna have negative five equals negative five m. My final step will be to do what? Divide by negative 5, divide by negative 5 to get rid of that negative 5, m will equal positive 1, m equals 1. Number 2, because we ran out of time, yeah, I want you to try it. I'm just going to show you the answer. Getting rid of the minus 3. My new equation will be, and then I get rid of the minus 3. My new equation will be, final steps to divide by 8, x equals 2.